Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Vita here back on the Madden 16. Today I'm bringing you guys the next play out of the Gun Trips tight end in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. So if you guys are interested in any other formations in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook, go to the channel, go to playlists, and then all the playlists are named after the formation that they broke down. Today, we're going to be covering a cover 2 beater, a uh, cover 3 beater, a uh, man beater. we got all sorts of beaters, and it's going to beat them, and it's going to beat them real good. So today we're going to come out in verticals out of the Gun Trips tight end in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. And this play is awesome. You, you can even audible to it. It's definitely an audible to play. There you go. Boom. Verticals. Easy setup. I don't have to block my running back. I don't. I never really throw it to my running back out of this formation anyways. And you never. You don't really need a check down because someone is open at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and block my running back. So when I snap the ball, I'm pretty much immediately looking at Y and B to see if I have to quick snap it to either those two. And then I'm looking at A. And then I'm looking back at A. And then I'm looking at Y and RB. It just depends on what the coverage looks like. So I'm going to snap the ball, and this time I'm going to wait. I'm going to hit my A as soon as he breaks, but I'm not going to be able to get the ball off. And we're off to a great start. So let's block our running back again. I'm going to snap the ball, and this time we're actually going to hit our Y receiver in the seams. And boom, nailed it. Perfect right between all the zones. And we're going to get a nice big gain there. So this is going to be goal line, so we're probably going to have to hit our A or B receiver. But we're going to end up hitting our B receiver. Is that an A or receiver? I don't remember. I think it's the B it's the B, final answer. Yeah, it's our B receiver. So let's go ahead and block our running back again. Snap the ball. This time we're going to hit our Y receiver, actually. Whoa, Cam, what was that? Okay. So in this situation, what we want to do is bullet pass it to the right. But Cam Newton definitely put it a little bit too far. So you're going to see that our middle receiver is wide open right about there. Okay. So what we can do is high pass it by holding down LB and then either LB or L1 and then this receiver. And that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, what's that? That's just gonna put the ball in the air, and he's not really gonna run for it. But unfortunately, I don't know what Cam was doing, and I tried to. What I tried to do is pass lead to the right, which is definitely something you could do there. You see, there's no one to the right, so if I pass lead to the right, it's gonna be bullet right in there. But Cam like literally put it so far to the right that even if DRC let that ball get past him, he still wouldn't have had a chance of putting uh, any hands on the ball. So let's go ahead and snap this ball and show you. Oh, I accidentally blocked my um. Uh, what is it called? My uh, tight end, and I did not mean to do that. And your tight end usually gets open to man coverage 90% of the time, unless they come out in, um, in what is it called? Uh, and the, unless they come out to play and they base align so the cornerback is in man coverage with your tight end. But that's what I'm talking about right there where we high pass, and this, this destroys cover three. But because we're so close to the end zone, it's kind of hard to tell, or it's kind of hard to beat cover three because there's not a lot of room to run. But this is looking like it's a cover two. I want to say it's a cover two. But that's what it looks like whenever you high bolt pass it. And no one's going to be able to put a uh, play in the ball. You just hold down an LB or L1 and then bolt pass it. Boom, high pass it. And he's going to come down with it before anyone can run over there and hit it out of his hands. So let's go. Oh, I did it again. This time I'm going to hit B as soon as he snaps. But he's going to get bumped, unfortunately. But I keep blocking my freaking tight end. And that, of course, that was man coverage. So I really needed my tight end on that uh, route. So this time we're going to do it again. We're going to hit our tight end. He's going to go over the corner. We're going to pass lead to the right, throw it, and he's going to be able to tiptoe inbounds. And this play is a money. Let's run it a few more times for you guys to show you just how money this play is. High bullet pass to our seam receiver. He's going to catch it, but he's going to end up dropping it. But that is Jericho Kochtry, who is like a freaking bench warmer. But it's okay because you guys know in Mutt, your receivers are probably going to come down with that. Right here, we're going to hit our B receiver as he crosses across. He crosses across as he breaks across the middle of the field. And Ted Gins, let's go ahead. We're on the play. Again, we're going to hit our A receiver this time. Boom, he's going to break open to man coverage. And we got Greg Olson all the way down to the 10-yard line. So let's run this play one more time. Just block our running back. We're going to snap the ball, and we're going to high pass it in there to our Y receiver. He's going to come down with it. Okay, now this is going to be the last time. Actually, I want to show you guys what this looks like in cover three. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to the play. Select. If we could just, just hurry up and if we could just hurry up. Just gun trips tight. And doesn't matter what play because we can audible to it. Just come out in a 4-3 cover 3. We're going to just back this ball up right about there. I'm going to show you guys how well this beats cover 3. So just going to snap the ball. And we're going to get a nice press and release. And boom, we're hitting our uh, our inside receiver cover 3. And it's money and it's a one play touchdown. So that's really what it looks like in cover 3. So if you guys like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, 